Well, guys, today we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, that's uh, your engine checking. So, guys, your engine checking is always a bad thing. So, we're going to find out what causes engine checking and then uh, the possible ways of just like helping it out. So, we're going to start this car right here, guys. And then, once it starts out, what we first check is if we have an engine light on the on the instrument cluster. So, for this one, we don't see any uh, engine light. So what I'll do guys is uh, I normally rev, you just rev your car just like for a few seconds and then you let it idle. Normally when a car idles guys that's when you will tell exactly if it's shaking or not shaking. So you can feel it from uh, the steering or when you're coming from you can just put your hand on top of the engine. But guys make sure the engine has been cold. Don't put your hand on top of a hot engine guys it's going to burn you. So guys, once you put your hand in there, you can you can tell if the engine is shaking because it you will see it's it's physical, it's something you can tell. So once you see, like you see right, my hand is shaking right there. So what happened, guys, is that once you see that shaking, we have two culprits. The first one we have a, a misfire, and then the second one, guys, we have a bad motor mounts or bad engine mounts. So these mounts, guys, over time when they're worn out, so when the car runs the engine tends to uh, vibrate like violently so guys when this happens you, you make sure guys it's almost time for you to change the uh, engine mounts but guys the difference between an engine mount uh, shaking and the misfire is when you shake guys and you go in your car you'll see an, an engine light that means that's a misfire but if you don't see no engine light guys uh, that means uh, your motor mounts are getting uh, bad or you can mean either both because sometimes uh, engine lights sometimes delay in most cars so it's a good time guys to uh, diagnose your car and to tell if you have a misfire and then contact your mechanic they will fix it up hope this helps see you next time